Okay, in this video I want to do an example of factoring a perfect square trinomial. And I've jotted the two formulas down here at the bottom. It says if you have something squared, so a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared, it says if you can kind of recognize that that's what's happening, you can actually factor that as a plus b times a plus b. If the, uh, the coefficient on the ab term, instead of being positive 2, if it's a negative 2, the only thing that's going to change is inside the parentheses you'll get a couple negatives. So in this one let's factor uh, 9x squared plus 24xy plus 16y squared and just to kind of emphasize that formula it says you need to write the first thing as something squared. Well I could rewrite 9x squared as I could put 3x in parentheses and then square it so I, if I multiply this out, if I square it, 3 squared will be 9, and x squared is x squared. Um, let's see, I'm going to also do the same thing for my 16y squared. We'll come back to the middle term. Notice I could write that as 4y all squared. And notice now if I take 2 times 3x times 4y. So if I multiply all this together, I'll get my 24xy back. And now we have this, this pattern, this formula that we saw just a second ago. This is our a, uh, here's our a again. This is what we labeled as our b term. So here we are multiplying it by b. And notice we're multiplying it by 2. So we do have this formula of uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared if we were to rewrite it. So typically what I do though, I kind of don't really, honestly, I don't really recognize this so much. You know, typically if I see a problem like this and I have to factor it, um, I kind of just cross my fingers and hope that things work. Um, and if not, I, I start changing them. But uh, I think, well, again, in the first set of parentheses, uh, in each of the parentheses, the first term, to get a 9x squared, well, to get an x squared, I'm going to need an x and an x. And then one thing I recognize is, hey, 9 is a nice, uh, uh, it's a perfect square. So if I take the square root of 9, I'll just get 3 and 3. So if I multiply those, hey, I get my 9x squared. The same thing to get the 16y squared. I could use a positive 4y and a positive 4y. And then I recognize that the sign in the middle is positive, which means I would need two positives in the middle. Which again, you know, this says we now have a plus b times a plus b, just like we did a second ago in our the general formula. And again, if you multiply this out, you'll get 3x and 3x is 9x squared. We'll get 3x and 4y, which is 12xy. On the inside, we'll get another 12xy, which gives us our 24xy. And then on the outside, we have our 16y squared. So we're done. Um, again. Typically, like I said, if I just see this problem, something like this, I would almost just try this, multiply it out, see if it works or not. If uh, you know the numbers were a little bit different, well then, then I would start doing something different on my factoring. But a lot of times, uh, this is it turns out to me it seems like to be a good guess because a lot of times it works. So, but again, you can really uh, think about rewriting things and noticing this 2ab term in the middle. So. All right, I hope this example makes some sense. Again, you know, factoring can be tricky. It's just recognizing all these different little tricks, but I'm going to do some other examples as well. Uh, hopefully, all together, they'll, they'll make some sense for you.